This is a suggestion to NASCAR. Fix the arrow package. And I'm going to tell you why I say this. After watching some of the intermediate and restrictor plate races, frankly, the last Talladega race was a snooze fest. And I'm not talking from lack of racks. I'm not a big fan of racks. I realize in racing they are going to happen. There were a couple. Let's face it. For Talladega, minor racks, uh, Montoya and Ambrose got together. But that, that's just racing. That happens. But that Talladega race, where all them cars rode around the top, and the cars trying to get a line on the bottom couldn't do anything with them. Of course, you had the wreck on the last lap that precluded racing back to the line, which was fine. I understood that because they were afraid somebody could be hurt. But then the intermediate tracks, all that you hear the drivers talk about, the cars handling changes when it's behind another car. Do something about it. And then, and worse yet, yesterday, of course, I watched the Martinsville race. And as some of you know, I've said this before, I'm a Dale Earnhardt Jr. fan, and I have the track pass race view, and I listened to his radio pretty much the whole race. And he was talking about after the car sustained some damages in one of the skirmishes at Martinsville, still brought it home in the top 10, that it changed the handling. Well, the damage that car sustained, if you go back to the Generation 4 car, the car before the, the COT, the damage Junior sustained yesterday would have helped the Generation 4 car. In fact, I can cite an example. The last year he was driving the Budweiser car, he literally got the front of the right front fender tore off. So, plugging along, they managed to keep him on the lead lap. On top of that, he was on seven cylinders. And uh, again, on the old version of the track pass before the race view came out, I was watching lap times. He was the fastest car on the track. And I heard some drivers on TV talking about, or on the, maybe the two ways they played, talking about cars changed when I was around other cars. On Martinsville? You know, it used to be you could tear a body off at Martinsville and go just as fast. And the deal with Junior having more air to the right front tire and brake would seem to help it. But I don't understand, NASCAR. You've got some of the best engineers mind in the sport. Bring them to the Hall of Fame there in Charlotte or the R&D Center there in Charlotte. Because let's face it, most of the teams are around Charlotte, Mooresville area. And figure it out. Figure it out. Make better racing. You're wondering why... Granted, part of the reason people are not in the seats of the economy, but frankly, I had to decide hard whether to renew my Kentucky tickets because frankly, right now, the racing stinks, and that's on all types of tracks. Now, I don't include road courses because, quite frankly, I don't like road courses. There's one, about four too many road courses on the schedule as I consider Pocono a road course and even to a point Indy. Although they're all left turns, the way the turns are laid out, they're more road courses to me. But, of course, they want to go to Indianapolis. I understand that, but Pocono's a road course. You know, they call it a road one to, to me, so is Indy. But that's just been my take. But I'm just saying, fix the arrow package so they can race. Let the fastest car win, not whoever gets track position and then they can't pass and do something about the restrictor plate race and that Talladega race was pathetic to say the least that's my story that's my opinion so be it